When you think butterball, you think turkey, right? Not anymore. Well, how, well, we're going to help you out this Thanksgiving holiday with some specialty-themed cocktails. This is Ralph Whitty. He's from Ridgeview Liquor. And this is the butterball. It is indeed the butterball. Starts out with some butter scotch schnapps. Okay. And I pour through the Kahlua so it settles in the bottom. And I then, like that it's layered. Well, yeah. And then you top it up with, you know, Irish Manor or some other cream liqueur. Okay. And that's the butter ball. So you have three different liqueurs and one little tasty number. And one little tasty I'm drink. just going to smell it. Maybe <laughs> I'll take it. Well, I'm sorry. Did you get a good look at it? <laughs> it's very tasty. Ooh. It really is. But do, do you want to mix it up before you drink it? You just... Boom, down oh, it goes. Well, all all well, yeah, I can't do that shot. right now. It's I a gotta, shot. No. I got a lot more work to do. Maybe so later. So the, okay. the next one we have is a maple old fashioned. And what I'm going Ooh. to do, a maple cranberry old fashioned. I'll muddle up these cranberries with a I little like bit of orange zest. The they, they're popping. And they pop. So we get that flavor in. Okay. Then we put in a couple of shots of, of the Tap 357, which What's is that? a maple rye whiskey. Ooh. Two shots of that. Put that over there. Okay. Then top it up with the soda. Oh, I need ice in there first. I gotta okay. have that. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then a little Myers rum. This is a local yeah. product as well, not Myers rum. Can you hear this that is... little birdie? In the background, right <laughs> over there. It's Ralph's wife saying, "No, you <laughs> forgot something." <laughs> so this is the um, old-fashioned mix by Myers. This is made. Oh, made yeah, you have to have that if you're gonna have an old-fashioned, right? right? Okay. Saint Nazian's, Wisconsin. So oh, another local, local. product. Mm -hmm. And it's really, really nice for those of you who like those classic bitters. And then you top it. Top it up. Add a little bit of color. I love your garnish. Can you see that garnish on there with the little leftover from Halloween? Pumpkin? And a little orange. It's just that festive uh, holiday. Really, really, really nice. I mean, the way that it looks... It's so festive. So festive. All right, we have one more for you. And now, you know, pumpkin you. pie, you know, Amy was talking about pumpkin pie. We're going to make a pumpkin pie martini. Okay. This with has, real pumpkin? With real pumpkin. So this has some vanilla vodka, some cream de coke, some cream, and then a little bit of pumpkin. Okay. About equal proportions of each. Okay, and that's, did you say vanilla? Vanilla vodka. Vodka, okay. So this, you just vodka shake it up. Vodka comes in all sorts of flavors now, Oh, man, it? all kinds of stuff. Gummy, loopy. <laughs> Weird stuff, but people love it. So this is what it looks like. Nice and creamy. I have rimmed this glass with a little orange to uh, make the topping stick. Okay, what's the this topping? This is some graham cracker crust type stuff. Top it up that with a little fresh nutmeg. And you have a beautiful... I want to say that's the fanciest pie. drink you've ever made. <laughs> wow. And it's, it's actually very, very good. And you can serve that then with your pumpkin pie. You've got a little... Or those of you who can't eat the pumpkin pie can have this liquid libation. Really? Can I just take a little sip of that? I would hate oh, for my. somebody not to try it. Creamy, pumpkin-y. And it's not too heavy. Like, no. I thought it might be too heavy, but it's very nice. Yeah. All right, Ralph. A lot of research goes into this. We I don't guess just come so. up with this stuff. You're muddling and you're... Putting a whole pie in a martini glass? I know. That's a... fantastic. Now, you can find Ralph at Ridgeview Liquor yep. in Ashwaubenon. What are your hours? Do you know through the holiday here this week? Will you be open Thanksgiving? Yes, but okay. very abbreviated hours. Okay. And uh, last time he talked about all the wines and the, sh and the sparkling wines and the beers that you might want to bring to your Thanksgiving meal festivities. Thanks again, Ralph. Absolutely. Come and see us. Cheers. We'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.